welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be watching Babylon 5 Season 4 Episode 22, the Season 4 Finale. Now, I don't even know what this episode's going to be because we wrapped everything up last episode. Where do we go from there for one episode? Like, are we going to go to Babylon 5 and just talk? Are we going to show stuff happening on planet Earth? Like, what exactly do we have to kind of wrap up that wasn't wrapped up last episode? I'm confused, to be honest. I'm confused on what we're even going to cover for one episode before a whole new season. So, yeah, I'm I'm just going to get into this, see what we have. JMS is a great writer, so I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. But I really don't know what we have left to cover before we get into a new season. I don't know. I guess the only way to find out is to watch. So come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. Hey, just married. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we're just going to Babylon 5 and going to do the honeymoon and have some fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. We're we're celebrating the marriage and the alliance, maybe. And, and we're just going to have fun. Is that Garibaldi? Yeah. Franklin, Garibaldi. Welcome home. Uh, this was your idea, wasn't it? If I can find some way to pay you back for this, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Jakar, you can eat more rice. Hey, doctor, <laughs> who died? What are you talking about? Among my people, this is how we celebrate state funerals. Our marriage ceremonies are solemn, sober, moments of reflection <laughs> and dread regret disagreement once you know that it cannot get any worse you can relax and enjoy the marriage <laughs> but to start with something like this no it is a very bad sign for the future and here's our first shot of the first couple of the interstellar alliance president john sheridan and delenn live on ism their triumphant return to babylon 5 after the liberation of earth has generated good messages from the senate and We're glitching out in the former league of aligned worlds ISI coverage. Continuity error. Temporal distortion. Correcting for error. Resetting. Do you wish to continue? Uh, yes. Reloading sequence. Sheridan and Delenn. Please select a time period or select oh. autoplay for chronological display of records. Are we in the future? Loading records for period covering one year through 1,000 years from events show. What? What? It was the year. One more time. What? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I'm watching here. Accessing records from initial scanning date. Stand by. ISN Nightside. A no holds barred look at the events of today that will shape the world of tomorrow. And now your host, Derek Mitchell. I'll turn the camera. Oversight like between passages. Say la. It means pause and consider. So tonight's story will report on special thoughts on the film terrain and the word or ten are usual terminal experts. Just decide if you want to reflect, discuss, pause, and consider. Say la. Say la. What the fuck am I watching here? Is this just a ISN episode? Like 60 minutes or, or <laughs> what? I mean, and what's up with the, do you want to watch time period blank to blank and different times? And this is very confusing. Not bad yet, but very, very, very different. I'd like to jump in here, Derek. All right. What amazes me is the way that everyone is trying to turn Sheridan into some kind of hero. This is the man who resigned his commission in Earth Force under dubious circumstances. The president cleared him and his crew, Henry, and she called him the hero of the hour. Yes, she did. And she's going to have to answer for that in the next election. <laughs> oh but, but, but that's besides the point. Call me old-fashioned, but that doesn't sound like the best 
qualification to run a major alliance. Sounds to me like most of the generals and politicians who've made history in the last few hundred years. Oh, come <laughs> on. Let's look at the facts. The man isn't qualified to run an operation as large as this interstellar alliance. It ain't none of your business. You can keep Babylon 5 operational without shooting at everything in sight. Oh, that's an just saying that he deserves a chance to try and make it work. Uh, what I think is missing and being lost in this whole discussion is that this is an election year mm. and that Mr. Ellis oh. is working as a speechwriter in the Clark administration. Oh, and I oh, think oh, that okay. the party consider Sheridan a real threat to their hopes for a majority in the Senate, so they're doing all that they can to discredit him in advance. That, that is completely true. unfair. It is, is not it? unfair. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate to interrupt you at this point. But God, I hate politics. Break, so why don't each of you give me your calls for the next couple of years? So. Whatever Sheridan and Delenn say about this economic alliance, and he's going to have to apply military force to make no, it no, work. What do you want? He has now, to let apply me finish. military I never pressure. Didn't interrupt you people when you were talking. What do you mean, you people? He's <laughs> power hungry and he's unprepared, and that is a dangerous combination. All right, let's go back to our little futuristic screen. Record ends. Autoplay feature engaged. Loading next sequence. Date 100. Who is watching this? Stand by. I guess. That person. Accessing records for date 100 years from initial scanning date. With another in our series of educational stellar casts on the 100th anniversary of the Interstellar Alliance. Taking part in today's wow, discussion. Wow, 100 Earth years. Stone, historian Dr. Jim Latimer from the University of York. Political scientist Dr. Barbara Toshaki, University of Japan at Tokyo. Hey, what's up, Barbara? And psychologist Dr. William Exeter from NYU. What role do you feel the Babylon Station played in the creation of the Hundred Year Peace? Well, the station, none at all. It's a place, it was a place that served as a nexus for others. I agree. A nexus how? Well, the first thing you have to do is separate fantasy from reality. The publicity machine for the Alliance would have you believe that somehow all this came about because of what a few people did. But large political movements are rarely the work of any one person. Sheridan and Delenn are two classic examples. If you look at the social dynamic around them, they actually didn't do anything. They were the open vessels in which people poured their hopes. That's some bullshit. I saw what they did. In a lot of ways, they blew it. It was only the force of history that saved the situation from collapsing of its own weight after so many people died in its first year of operation and the incident concerning their son. So, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Track into associated biography. So let's move on to the next question. What about their son? I started to say so many people died in the year after Sheridan and Delenn returned to Babylon 5. Well, you can't lay the blame what happened? to their feet. Of course you can. Well, as one example, they had no business creating a colony of telepaths on Babylon 5. <laughs> he as much as said later it was the worst mistake of his career. He thought they could control the telepaths when any fool knows that's impossible. They created a so colony of telepaths? To turn on Sheridan and everybody else, and that's exactly what happened. That one event may have done much to precipitate the telepath war and... You can't pick one incident and say... There's that a telepath the war? Cause no. This entire episode's a spoiler. What the hell am I watching? I'd like to turn our attention now to this historical record. You gotta listen to me. This isn't gonna work. Garibaldi? Give yourselves up. We could go back. We could talk to the others. You say you're doing this for a cause. What kind of sympathy are you going to get by killing innocent people in cold blood? You want to send out a message, this ain't it. What do you say? <sighs> yeah. That's what I thought you were going to say. This is President Sheridan. I have consulted with Captain Lockley, and we've reached a decision regarding the current situation. It is not the policy of the Interstellar Alliance or this nice Van Dyke to bargain with terrorists for the lives of hostages. Now you have two choices. Surrender, or we will use lethal force to bring you down. You have ten minutes. Oh! Oh, whoa. Oh! Wait, look, we can... Comments. What? So, where do the two of you fall on the Delenn question? Well, everyone knows Minbari live a long time, but not that long. I think the record is 120 years. 140? Forget it. No, this is just what Dr. Tashaki was talking about earlier. This constant perpetuation of fantasy. The Alliance is continuing the illusion that Delenn is alive for their own purposes. Frankly, I don't think she would have approved. Apparently, they feel they have to maintain this fiction in order to keep their people in line. Sheridan was a megalomaniac, and to allow history to... It was not a megalomaniac. ...simply compounds the error. 
We have an obligation as academics to uphold certain standards. Uh, I've just heard we've had a, a security breach in the building. We're going to... The Lynn are going to show up? Who in the hell is that? The Lynn? The Lynn? The Lynn? Old ass the Lynn? It's old ass the Lynn, baby. What's up, girl? You look fugly. Was a good, a kind, a decent man. You came all this way just to say that? That's all she needs to say. You came just this far to say less. But this is extraordinary. There's so much more we'd like to ask you. So much more we'd like to know. You do not wish to know anything. You wish only to speak that which you know you ignore because it is inconvenient. That's 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 modern day media wrapped up in a nutshell, you folks. No. Well, of course, we would expect you to say. Oh, that. shut up. We... Hit that dude with your stick. Hit that dude with your stick. I... Bald ass comb over mother humper. Shame on all of you. Record ends. Autoplay feature engaged. Loading next sequence. Date 500 years from first time period. Stand by. 762. For date 500 years from initial scan. This is a weird episode, man. It does not feel like a season finale. At all. Continue holographic recording from last index point. Test sequence number five. Virtual environment functioning identical to Babylon 5 system records from 2260. Shit, they made a holiday. The transfer of records is complete, successful, in spite of extreme age of original files and destruction of original Babylon 5 station 480 years ago. Whoa, whoa! Babylon 5 gets blown up! Poet Division Central. Intent is to deconstruct historical figures revered by pro sector, thereby legitimizing current government policy. Of course. Initiating Tear down the past to recreation. To uh, justify the present. Do you know where you are? Babylon 5, the, the conference room, level blue 3. And what year is it? 2262. Very good. The system is now updating the holographic representations with our current political situation and the developments leading up to them. This will demonstrate system flexibility and capacity to spontaneously emote to changes in programming. Download complete. Initiating phase three. I understand that you surrendered to our forces in the hopes of finding mercy. The Interstellar Alliance is not here to be merciful to the weak. In all the universe, there are only two kinds. The conquerors and the conquered. But through your blood and the blood of your children, we will blaze a path across the galaxy. What we cannot take by force, we will win by subversion. And in the end, we will bury you. Your lives are not the first and they will not be the last. If a billion must die to ensure the continuance of our empire, then so be it. He's channeling a particular German, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. Stand ready. Aim. Fire. That is something we can do. Dead. We're not even here, just our memories, our thought patterns. 
Doctor's personal log, May 3rd, 2262. We have secured several test subjects for the next series of experiments. We will now continue with the use of alien organs in human bodies in an attempt to create a genetic crossbreed that will be compliant to the needs of the Alliance. Later today, we will begin again with our experiments on children. <laughs> the problem with the vivification yeah. is that the younger children can only survive the initial removal of organs for a short period of time. Oh, that's a shame. We hope that by increased use of drugs, we may find a way to prolong their lives while we work. Very good. Very All right, Garibaldi. Program it's up to you, fake Garibaldi. So, Daniel, right? Dan? Danny? Can I call you Danny? Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot I'm just a hologram and you're busy getting ready to reprogram me. Didn't mean to interrupt. See, the thing is, me and Sheridan were close, but I was the one who did most of the strategic planning during the war. Now, a resource like that, we might not want to wipe it out just yet. I could help you. Give you some tips to pass along to the big boys and maybe get you a promotion. <laughs> You're being conned by a hologram, dude. Go on. The funny thing about being a holographic record is, is that you don't really exist, except in patterns of light, shadow, information. And I happen to have a knack for breaking system codes. So while you were downloading the New World Order into me, I was watching the system work. I know where it comes in, and I know where it goes out. And I just sent out our entire conversation. Broadcast the whole damn thing. So, Ow. as of right now, what? the enemy knows what you have in mind, Danny. Now, from your records, they're actually a lot more humanitarian than you are, so they'll probably just target your military bases and research facilities. Hell, your missiles are probably halfway here by now. You're lying. <laughs> hmm. uh. Holograms don't lie, Danny boy. Rest easy, friends. Record ends. Autoplay feature engaged. That was pretty good. Next sequence. That was Page pretty good. Okay. First time period. Stand by. Still a Access weird ass season finale. From initial scanning date. Stand by. And so it came to pass that in the 500th year of the Alliance, the children of Worth did war one upon another with missiles and terrible weapons, and they burned the earth, and the air, and the cities, and the sea. Here, yeah, the, uh, blessed Lorian. The last of the firstborn. Exactly. The last shall come first, the first shall come last. A, a fable, specifically hey. created to match hey. scripture. That's what the others say. Lorian! And there is not one shred of evidence of... He even exists. He did there exist. Is proof out I there saw him. Space. Yes, but space is closed to us now. Just look at us, brother. They're no longer a space-faring people. And look at what Earth has become. And our, our cities are little more than villages. All those great secrets of our ancestors are almost gone. Almost. That's why we're here. Look, the others. The blessed Sheridan, who lived and died. Returned from the dead and was taken bodily into heaven. Space Jesus! <laughs> the strong and fell in the wise. I, they could all be fell in the wise. You know the worst of it. What? The car, the noble. I was halfway through illuminating it when my heart just left me. Rangers. You know the prophecies. The prophecies of Dylan the Third. I really wish that I could walk amongst those stars. If there is a way, Brother Michael, I pray that your wish comes true. Alwyn McComber reporting in. Nothing of substance to report since my last. The Arranger? We think we may have gathered enough information from the time pre burn to assemble a working gasoline engine. Obviously, there's no gasoline in this part of the country. Therefore, we asked the supply department if they could uh, arrange to have a suitable supply of gasoline found uh, in the vicinity near the abbey in a few days. Only this time, for Valen's sake, please make it look like an old container. The last one could have been produced a hundred years ago. He's a freaking ranger. We will rebuild the earth. 
Though it take us another 2,000 years? Alwyn and Le Choc, Earth Sector, in report. We live for the one, we, we die, die for the for one. one. Record ends. Autoplay feature complete. Stand by. But he's gonna have a giant head, ain't he? For a giant System has alien head. And archiving records for a period of one million years from initial scanning. One million? Instructions. Our job is finished. Convey records to New Earth. Confirmed. Use enhanced tachyon uh, sequence to ensure arrival in time for the celebration. He's just bald. Confirmed. Note, atypical solar emissions increasing in intensity. This is how the world ends. Swallowed in fire, but not in darkness. You will live on. The voice of all our ancestors. The voice of our fathers and our mothers to the last generation. We created the world we think you would have wished for us. And now we leave the cradle for the last time. It's like some Vorlon shit. What's up, girl? Your fine ass. It's such a weird episode to end on. Like, I, I don't even know what to think. Just thinking about it all. Dedicated to all the people who predicted that the Babylon 5 project would fail in its mission. Faith manages. Oh, I'll be right back with you. That was Babylon 5 season 4 episode 22. That was weird, man. That was weird. That's a weird way to end a season and i'm guessing it is all because they thought they weren't getting a season five that's the only thing i can think of because that's weird dude that's weird to end like this it i mean it was a fine episode i guess it just a weird placement for this type of episode at the very end i don't know like i like seeing what happens to the Alliance, what happens to Earth, to see our main characters brought back as holograms and Garibaldi getting the best of the of the scientists even as a hologram. Great. Seeing humanity has been bombed back to the Middle Ages by themselves and the Rangers are on Earth trying to help rebuild. And then seeing the future, the the way into the future where humans can turn themselves into energy and go into a Vorlon-esque bodysuit. Awesome. And then they they venture off into part of the great unknown to another universe, just like the first ones did. And that is really cool. It's really cool, and it really does show that the, the, the things that happen in this show will echo through the ages for thousands of years. Seeing Delenn old as hell was kind of was kind of awesome too. Like Sheridan was a good man, a great man. Like, Y'all quit talking shit about my about my baby daddy, <laughs> about my husband who who was the best of all of us. But I still don't know how I feel about this episode. It's not a bad episode. I think I'm just stuck on the placement. Is just so unnatural to me. And once again, I just assume is because they thought the show wasn't getting picked up for a season five. So let me know in the comments below if I'm right about that. And if you think this is also a very weird spot for an episode like this. Yeah, that, I, I don't have much to say. I mean, other than this episode was kind of spoiler-esque, I think, because it talks about only in little parts, but it does talk about things that have yet to happen that I'm now going to be thinking about in season five. Like, when is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? But I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Uh, yeah. So we're, we are ending season four on this episode and I don't have a ton to say. So hopefully you enjoyed my reaction. If you did continue to come on this journey with me, like comment, share, subscribe, Patreon link in the description below. We will be doing the Babylon five movie in the beginning. 
I will be watching that probably the last week of the month. And then in October, we will begin season five. So come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. Uh, this is Mega signing off.